This is Jack Jackson. In this video, we're going to be continuing our discussion of descriptive statistics. And now we're going to focus on measures of relative standing. And this particular video, we're going to start pretty simple with just three measures, the minimum, maximum, and median. So in general, measures of relative standing are measures of position. And what they are, they tell us how a particular data value compares to the positions of other data values. For example, what proportion of the data values are below it. So most measures of relative standing are meaningful if the data is at least ordinal. It has an order to it or above ordinal interval or ratio data. It doesn't make sense to talk about relative standing for things that don't have an inherent order. So if it's strictly attribute data at the nominal level, then we could not use a measure of relative standing. We're going to look at these different uh, measures of relative uh, standing or relative position. Uh, extreme values, the minimum and maximum, which we'll talk about in this video, and the median, which we'll also talk about in this video. In the next video, we'll talk about quartiles and how they relate to a box plot. And we'll also mention briefly deciles and percentiles. Z-scores are another measure of relative standing, which we will introduce after we talk about variability uh, in a, a little bit uh, down the road uh, in this unit. So extreme values are very simple. The minimum is the lowest occurring data value, and the maximum is the highest occurring data value. So the extreme values sort of book in the data. All data values are at or between these two values. So it's sort of, you need these two values to sort of encapsulate everything and put bounds on it. So not much to that, but an important but very simple uh, statistics there to measure the minimum and the maximum. Now the median is between the minimum and maximum. And it's, a, it's actually both a measure of central tendency, which we'll talk about in our next section, and also relative standing. So it's a middle value in the sense that you take an ordered or ranked list of data, and half the data is ranked at or below the median. So then what we want is then the three values, the minimum, median, and maximum, are called half tiles. And they bracket the data into two portions, each containing half of the data values. So from minimum to the median is half the data. And from the median to the maximum is the other half the data. Now these two intervals have the same amount of data points in them, but they not, may not be the same length of interval. So it might be, the median might be closer to the minimum or it might be closer to the maximum. The median of the sample is x with this little uh, squiggle over it. And that's, that's what we use for the median of a sample and the median of a population. Usually we use a capital M for that. Now how do you compute the median? Well, the first thing you do no matter what is you rank the data in an ordered list from smallest to largest. So first you have to sort it from smallest to largest. Now, it turns out that there are two cases. It depends on whether n is even or if n is odd. Remember, n is the number of data points in the sample. Or this could be done for a population as well. Okay, so if, if n, lowercase or uppercase, whether you're dealing with a sample or a, or a population, is odd, then there will be a single value in the middle. Like if there are five data points, the third one will be the third one from the bottom and the third one from the top. It will be the one in the middle, and that will be the median. Now, the rank position of that you can find by taking the sample size n, adding 1, and divide by 2. So again, in the case of 5 data points, add 1, you get 6, divide by 2 is 3, and that tells you it's the third one from the bottom will be, uh, from our, in our ranked list, will be the median. Notice it's also the third one from the top. Now, if n is even, there will be two values tied for the middle of the ordered list. So let's say there are just four data values. Notice that the second and third one 
are sort of tied for the middle. Um, and so what you'll do is um, you, you average those two. You add those two up and divide by two. Um, and that gives you the median there. Notice in the even case, exactly half the data is below and half the data is above. And in the odd case, if you don't count the median, half of the non, half of the other values are above and half are below. But actually not quite, actually half above and below when you throw in the median as well. So here are a couple of examples. Um, here's this first one, example one. Our data set is 1, 5, 7, 12, and 20. Notice I've already put it in order, increasing order. So it has already been ranked in increasing order. N is 5, which is an odd number. So N plus 1 over 2 is 5 plus 1 over 2. 6 over 2 is 3. So the third one from the bottom should also be the third one from the top. 1, 2, 3 is 7. 1, 2, 3 from the top is also 7. So 7 is the median. It's the one in the middle of this ranked list. So if we don't count the median itself, half the data is below, two below, and half is above, two above. Okay. Of course, in this case, that's actually 40% below and 40% of the total five above and below. So you can say that approximately half are above and half are below. Uh, but if we don't count the median itself, throw it out, then half are below and half are above. And it is a data value. Now, if in the even case, notice that when we count from above and below here, we have a tie. So 7 is the third one from the bottom. 12 is the third one from the top. They tie uh, for the middle. Okay. Again, the this, this is ranked list. Notice that we think of it in terms of the same formula, n plus 1 over 2. Well, let's see, there's six data values. So six plus one over two is seven halves or 3.5. So where should the median be? It should be at the 3.5 rank. Well, that's rank one, two, three, third one, fourth one. Three and a half would be halfway between the third one and the fourth one. And so that's exactly what we do. We find halfway between the seven and the 12. And of course, we find halfway between two numbers by adding them and then dividing by two. So 7 plus 12 is 19. Then divide by 2, you get 19 halves or 9.5. So in this case, the median is 9.5. Then, so it's right halfway between these two. Then three values, the 1, 5, and the 7, are below the median. And three values, the 12, 20, and 30, are above the median. So in this case, exactly half of the values are above the median, half are below. But this time, the median is not one of the data values. It's something else. 9.5 is not even in our list, but it's halfway between the two ones that are tied for the middle. Okay, so you see how that works for an odd and an even case. So here's your turn to try the same thing. So um, compute the median on these two uh, exercises. So first we have exercise one, we have a data set there. And exercise two, we have a data set there. So see if you can find the median in both cases. Go ahead and do this on your own. Come back and check your work when you're finished. Press pause now. Okay, now that you're back, hopefully you remember that the first thing you have to do is what? Put the data in increasing order, rank it. So if you didn't do that first, then go ahead and hit pause and go back and do that to proceed. Okay, so if you look, we put the order in, in increasing order. We have the 2, then the 3, then the 5, then the 8, then the 15, 21, 26, 31. So that's this data right here in order. Notice there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yes, 8 data points. So n is 8. That's even, so there should be a tie for the middle one. Um, 8 plus 1 is 9 divided by 2 is 4.5. So between the fourth and the fifth one should be the median. 1, 2, 3. The fourth one is, I'm sorry, when you look at this ranked list. 1, 2, 3. Fourth one is 8. The fifth one is 15. So we're looking at halfway between 8 and 15. 
That's 8 plus 15 divided by 2. 8 plus 15 is 23. Divided by 2 is 11.5. So the median is 11.5, right halfway in between here. So that four data values are below, I'm sorry, right between here in the ranked list. So that these four are below and these four are above. Exercise 2, uh, again, we still want to put this in increasing order. So that would be 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 11, 16 which is, uh, count them real quick, that's 7. So 7 plus 1 is 8, divided by 2 is 4. So the median will be the fourth one in this order list. 1, 2, 3, 4, 8 is it. The fourth one is 8. So the 8 is the median. Three values are below, 2, 4, and 6. Three values are above, 9, 11, and 16. So the median is both a measure of central tendency and it is a measure of relative standing. It's a measure of relative standing because it tells you basically how it ranks in relation to the other data. It ranks so that half of the data is below it. It is a measure of central tendency as well because half is also above it. That puts it in the middle in some sense, in the sense that we just talked. Now, here we have a dot plot of the ages of the U.S. presidents at their first inauguration. And what I'd like you to do is find, uh, which of the, find the minimum, the maximum, and the median by looking at the dots on this particular plot. Uh, the minimum and maximum should be pretty easy. The median is not too hard, but it may take a little more work. So go ahead and do that and come back when you think you have the answer. Press pause now. Okay, well, the median is easy. That's just the lowest one here, 42. The maximum is also easy. It's the highest one, 69. Now, to find the, me the, uh, the median, so minimum 42, maximum 69. Median is going to be, uh, we have these things basically in order, so let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Should be, should be 44. Let me see here. 43, should be 44. Let me count again. Okay, 43, and that is correct. So there's 43 of them. Um, so n is 43. So 43 plus 1 is 44 divided by 2 is 22. It's an odd number, so there should be a clear one in the middle. So the, the 22nd one from the bottom should be the same as the 22nd one from the top. Let's count here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. There it is right there. That's the median. These ones below it and all these here, including all these other 54s, are considered part of the lower half. All of these should be the upper half, so let's count there. It should be 22 from the top, too. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 is also the 22nd one from the top. So that's the median, which is 54. So the median is 54, minimum is 42, maximum is 69. The lower half, including all these 54s except for the one circled, is the lower half, which is um, 21 data values. And all of these from the 55 up, the ones that are above that circle value, those are the upper half, which is uh, also 21 values. Okay, so does everybody, hopefully everybody sees now how to compute the minimum, maximum, and the median.